I said on Monday that I was going to select the person who I thought would be the best person to represent New Jersey between now and October 16th, when all New Jerseyans get an opportunity to elect the person to succeed uh, the late Senator Frank Lautenberg. Uh, during the last few days, as I've gotten to deliberate on this decision, uh, it became clear to me that Attorney General Chiesa would be the best person to represent the people of the state of New Jersey in the United States Senate. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Hour number two of the Steve Malzberg Show. Governor Chris Christie uh, wasting little time uh, just a day or so after his announcement uh, that uh, there would be a special election held in October to um, pick the new senator to succeed the deceased Frank Lautenberg. Uh, Chris Christie um, naming the attorney general of the state of New Jersey as the interim senator to be uh, sworn in next Monday. Uh, and he'll be in place until uh, October uh, when the uh, general or the special election takes place. But there are primaries before that. And uh, there's a deadline if you want to get on that ballot and you need uh, uh, an X number of signatures. And I believe while there are a couple of three uh, people on the Democratic side who want to run in October, uh, I believe as we speak, there's only one man who has uh, announced that he is uh, seeking the uh, Republican nomination to uh, run in that general election to be a United States senator from the state of New Jersey. And I got to tell you, he would make a great one. He would have made a great governor. He was a great mayor of the city of Bogota, New Jersey. And uh, he is a very, very uh, prominent uh, voice with Americans for Prosperity in New Jersey. Um, we welcome in Steve Lonigan. Hey, Steve, how are you? Steve, it's great to be with you. No, I, I'm energized. I'm on the New Jersey Turnpike in the pouring rain. We have hundreds of people across New Jersey gathering signatures for a petition. I'd like to make an announcement on the air right now that just came through. I was just endorsed by the Camden County Republican Chairman Tom Booth, great. which I'm excited about. We're actually gathering Tea Party support, conservative support, and the establishment support. Well, that that's um, that's great. Yeah, go ahead. Absolutely. So it's, it's just enormous. And... Uh, Steve, this is going to be a historic election for the country because come October 16th, the entire country is going to be watching this race. This is going to be an all-out referendum on Obamacare and Obama's failed agenda. And uh, it's a battle I'm looking forward to. Well, before we get into that, uh, let, let me just ask you specifically what you need to do uh, by, is it Tuesday? And you already need how many? Oh, oh no, by, by Monday. Okay. By Monday, I have to have 1,000 signatures on petitions, qualified signatures. That's Republicans and undeclareds. Who, to put me on the ballot. And I have people out. We've got the rain, torrential downpours, but we have people out in this weather struggling to get this done. That's a lot of names in a very short period of time, only about three days, actually, to put it together and do it. And it's extremely difficult. But fortunately, I'm blessed to have, uh, you know, a lot of supporters out in New Jersey and grassroots support to go out and get those signatures. I'm confident we're going to do it. And I'm confident we're going to file with even more than a thousand, a lot more than a thousand. And I expect that more than any of the Democrats that file. I would hope. I, I mean, I know it's difficult because of the weather and the short notice, uh, obviously. But I mean, I would hope you'd get the thousand, uh, you know, uh, before the before tomorrow's out, certainly. And then you well, can. You know, it is, Steve. They're all out getting collected. So yeah, I, I bet you we are past that. Yeah. They're out around the state. In the hands yeah. Of well, I I, I, I qualify to sign your petition. So you know, if yes, you, you could find me, uh, I'll, I'll sign your petition. But Steve, let me ask you about this. Um, the governor's decision, um, you know, in the first place, what were you expecting him to say? Not yesterday's appointment, but I mean the, the announcement about the, uh, the general election, saying that this is what Frank Lautenberg would have wanted. Well, well, Frank Lautenberg wouldn't have wanted a, a, a conservative Republican uh, uh, in his place until the special election. So that's, that's nonsense. Um, I think what the governor did is outstanding. <laughs> I think this is an awesome opportunity for the conservative base to be remobilized in a, one, in a competition in an August primary, if there was a competition, because it's going to be about who has the most compelling message. And then the October 16th all-out battle, all about Obamacare, all about cap-and-trade, health care, Benghazi, the DOJ, the IRS scandal. I don't care who the Democrats run, Steve. I don't care if it's Cory Tweeter Bookie, Bo Cory Tweeter Booker or Frank Pallone, the architect of uh, Obamacare in Congress, 
I don't care. Bring it on because there's not going to be anybody else on the ballot for, to dilute the messaging. They're not going to have a governor with Bono or freeholders or assembly candidates or mayor candidates or referendum questions. It's all going to be about Obama. And I think that's a remarkable opportunity for conservatives to take the first Republican seat in New Jersey in 41 years and to send a message to the whole country. Look, I, I, I agree with you from the point that he made the decision on forward and i think that you would make an excellent senator you know how i feel about you you and i have been friends for a long time um and we've talked uh, on and off the air for a long time i know your lovely wife but my, my my question though is with all due respect to you he could have appointed uh, uh you know a, a, a republican for the next year and a half without the expense or problem or, or concern of an election yeah Steve, that's that's not true why he can only there has to be election by november what you just said is not the case. The law requires an election by November. So it had to be on an election day or before election day. So well, but, but that was up in the air. I mean, there might have been lawsuits, but most people seem to think that he could have appointed someone till the end of the term. The statute is clear as day. Okay. All right. All right. So that's your Okay. Okay. We'll take your... your, your by the way, in 1982, uh, when Harrison Williams was indicted and went to jail in April of 82, uh, Tom Kane Sr., Harrison Williams had more than this, like two and a half years left. Tom King Sr. appointed Nicholas Brady as a placeholder. There was an all-out special election in November of 82, and the Republicans lost that year. Uh, but Nicholas Brady would go on years later to become uh, George Bush the first Treasury Secretary. Right. So this, is, this has precedent in having a placeholder. The other value to me is I don't want it. People say, well, wouldn't it be better if you – I said, no, because then I have to go down and be in Washington all the time. I want to be in New Jersey raising money, building a campaign, out on the campaign trail every single day from now until October 16th, day and night. And it's very hard to do if you have to go learn how to be a senator and serve in office. Meanwhile, Cory Booker will be running around to wherever the hell they run. I don't care who they run, Steve. Wherever they run, they're going to be nothing but a rubber stamp for Barack Obama's agenda. All right. Well, let me. We're talking to Steve Lonigan, uh, the um, uh, announced uh, Republican uh, candidate uh, seeking the uh, Republican nomination for the uh, U.S. Senate seat in New Jersey. Here on the Steve Malzberg show. So, a, a referendum on Obama in a, in a in a state like New Jersey, uh, where Obama won as recently as uh, as November. Uh huh. And what Governor Christie won against John Corzine is millions of dollars. So, New Jersey is not the hopelessly liberal state that the Republicans think it is. So that's why they keep running these moderate Republican Senate candidates and they keep losing. That's why they back a moderate like Mitt Romney. Rep New Jersey is a conservative state. Steve, I won in the borough of Bogota as a mayor three times and maintained Republican control for 12 years in a two to one Democrat town. And I ran as a conservative Republican with a solid message of fiscal conservatism. That will work statewide. The other issue is that Obamacare kicks in on October 1st, all of its mandates, all of its paperwork, all of its requirements, and everybody's going to be upset about that. So let Cory Booker or Frank Pallone defend Obamacare, because that's what this is going to be about. Yeah. Do you look for uh, Rush Holt, Pallone, and, and, and Booker to, uh, to, to damage each other? I'm not that are you looking for it, but do you think they will in the uh, primary? I want them to spend their money. I want Pallone, I want, uh, Pallone to spend his $3.7 million and Cory Booker his $1.6 million. Because let them go out to the country and say, okay, we, one of us won now. Uh, give us money to support Obamacare. I will raise more money than these guys. I'll have a more compelling message. I'll have a more mobilized base. Well, it'll be the conservative suburban you know, base versus the inner city liberal Democrat machine. But, you know, we'll have those inner city sort of underground conservatives, too, working for us as well. Right. Who, who, who wouldn't have never admit it? All right. Let me ask you, uh, do you have a website even set up yet or any way that people could help you out if uh, they want to uh, financially or otherwise? Lonniganforsenate.com. Lonniganforsenate.com. Or you can go to my Facebook page, Steve Lonigan for U.S. Senate. Uh, yeah, Steve Lonigan for U.S. Senate. Excellent. And uh, then here's what you need to do. Download a petition. Read the instructions and get signatures. I need to raise money, but I need those signatures on my. And, and Steve, like I said, I want more signatures than the Democrats, but I got to make sure we have those thousand qualified signatures. Then it's clear sailing. We'll be working to build a campaign. They'll be beating each other up. Well, well listen, Steve. Like I said, and I, I, I don't say this. I, I wish, uh, looking back in hindsight, I wish you would have won as governor. Um, and uh, you, you and I agree on on most issues. 
And I, I, I am very excited, and I think it's going to be a very exciting time for New Jersey. And we'll speak again, I'm sure, and maybe we'll even uh, get you and uh, whoever s- survives the Democratic slugfest uh, up here when it comes uh, election time, and you could, guys could debate in the studio. And, Steve, we're going to be at my house Saturday night from six, uh, 5 to 8. People will be dropping off petitions, signing petitions. I'd like to invite you by to my home in Bogota, 212 Lawrence. No, no, Road. you don't want to give an address. You don't want to give an address. Yeah, do. You do? No, it's, over, it's going to be all over the Internet, my friend. All right, what's the address? All right, what's the oh, address? By, yeah. by the way, my name's in the phone book. Okay. Always, always has been. All right. <laughs> I, I just want to, I just want to safeguard you. That's all. That's all. Um, all yeah. right, Steve.